Hello. So we are back. Tuesday. And we have a job. And this is a simple one, yeah? But this, you know, hopefully anyone can fix it. The problem with this one, let's power up the laptop. This is a nice Toshiba laptop. I'll power up the computer. It's a nice i3 processor. It's coming on. Let's wait. The problem with this, we booked in this with, uh, actually, uh, the touchpad is not working. So the touchpad is not working, so that means it's no uh, mouse arrow on the screen. So we have to fix this. This can be interesting because, uh, you know, usually it happens a lot in a lot of computers. Like the, the touchpad is not working. Now the problem is, it's not only about the touchpad, which is not working, but the keyboard is dead. So nothing happened. Like I can't, I can't even swipe the screen to put a password or to log in. I'll keep press the power button just to shut down the, just to shut down the laptop. Yeah. So now it's off. So hopefully he will start again. He will start loading up like from the first time. So he will auto log in. Let's wait, because I know it's no password there. So when it's no password and you start the computer fresh, you'll log in without the keyboard. So let's see. Just to clear the fault, just to clear the fault. Because first time we think, okay, my touchpad died, it's faulty, I have to go and replace the part. But actually it's not. <coughs> let's wait, let's wait. can happen you know we got a lot of laptops touchpad not working and also keyboard not working so we just to give you an idea how to fix this let's wait this is a little bit slow I don't understand why because it's a i3 processor so it should be a lot more faster But everything can be linked, can be linked together. Maybe the fault has a link with the fact it's slow. Who knows? Let's wait. It's a beautiful day outside. It's around 12 degrees. For this uh, time of the, of the year, it's, it's nice. It's loading. Uh, and he's logging in here. So you know, if if the keyboard is not working, the touchpad is not working. I don't think it's really, really possible, like the boat to be faulty, like the keyboard to be faulty, or the touchpad, like together, like both get faulty. Maybe some water damage, but here is no water damage. I can see it's like it's like new. Let's wait. Usually, I found only like touchpad is not working. But on this one, this is crazy. Even the keyboard is not working. Yeah, so it's on. Everything is on. The touchpad is not working. The keyboard pressing the Windows key, nothing happened. The key is changing the the backlight is not working. Keeping press Fn. No, it's nothing changing. So you see, it's like that. It's like it's doing nothing. So you, even if you think, okay, the touchpad, we have to keep press this button to activate the touchpad, it's still not working. Or Fn and this one, and it's still not working. We have no mouse, and the keyboard is is nothing. It's it's, it's not working. So the, the, the few steps what you can do first just shut down the computer just keep press the power button like five seconds 
Great. Let's start. Let's try first to go on BIOS. This is a Toshiba laptop. So I should be able to go with F2 just to define if the keyboard is working. And I can't. I'll try one more time. Toshiba it's F2, if you have a HP it's F10, if you have a Sony you have the assist button and it is going on the BIOS. So that's mean my keyboard it's working uh, before the Windows is loading up. Yeah, The mouse, the mouse is working fine. Look at the mouse. So everything is fine here but not on Windows. So what I will do, I'll go and load up the C uh, setup default or F9 on our case. Okay, now exit F10. Save changes, yes. Well, let's see if it's working now. So we just load up the default uh, settings. So I said that yeah, uh, uh, Toshiba is F2, HP F10, Lenovo, you have a square button, a small button to go on BIOS. Uh, on the Sony, you have the assist button. Well, laptops are there. Acer, Asus, it's still F2. Probably if you do like a short uh, search on Google, you'll find how you can go on BIOS. So let's see if it's working. Maybe it's not working. Maybe we have a faulty keyboard, a faulty touchpad. But it's not, because it's working on BIOS. Weird, weird. And many of these faults comes with the Windows updates. When actually the Windows is updating the drivers and is running some updates. Let's see if it's working now. So we just load up the default settings on BIOS. I don't think it's working. I can't see the mouse there. I just want to find the fault on this one. And no, I don't think it's the Windows. I don't think that. Kind of weird, you know, the keyboard and the touchpad together are not working on Windows. It's kind of weird. No, it's not working. It's no mouse. And the keyboard, the keyboard is not working. So I can press the Windows key, nothing happened. Nothing happened. I can't change anything, like the backlight or the things. So it's still not working. What I will do next, I will power off the laptop again. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's use something so will not scratch the, the laptop. Let's try first a simple thing, taking out the battery. We'll go through that point when actually the laptop will start working. So the battery is out. Let's plug the battery. Let's power up the laptop again and see if it's working. So on one of these cases, if you have this problem, your laptop will start working. Can happen like only loading the BIOS uh, default setup and your laptop can start working or uh, only if you remove the battery. Or maybe we have to open the laptop, we'll see. <clears throat> it's a weird fault. So you know the keyboard is fine and the touchpad is fine because it's working on the BIOS menu, but not on Windows. Let's see now, it's loading up. So let's see if it's working. If we, I just took the battery out, I plug the battery back.
I just wait. It's still loading. Yeah. Oh. So we have the mouse arrow. Was there like one second ago? Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just. Let's see. I seen the arrow on the screen. There's here a few steps to follow. In case your uh, keyboard or your touchpad is not working and uh, it's not because of a water damage. Yes, so the mouse is working fine. Yeah, you can see. We have the mouse on the screen and the keyboard. Let's see if the keyboard is working. Yeah, so I can change the brightness. You can see? So the keyboard is working fine. The Windows key. Windows key is working, yeah. Pressing the Windows key is bringing the menu. So you see, everything is fixed. And what I did, I just took the battery out and I plugged the battery back. Okay. Now, it, it's it's... It's easy to be fixed if you have an external battery, but if you have an internal battery, you have to open the laptop. And most of the laptops on these days, the battery is internal. Yeah. So keep in mind, yeah. Just reload the 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 the, the setup defaults on BIOS. Yeah. Take out the battery, plug the battery back, and if it's still not working, you have to open the laptop. If it's an internal battery, just remove the battery and plug the battery back. Or if you have a BIOS battery, usually, you know, many laptops, they have a BIOS battery. Remove the battery, remove the BIOS battery, just wait a few minutes, plug the BIOS battery, plug the other battery back, and should be working, yeah? Just keep in mind, this, you know, it will save you some money, you know? So you don't have to do, like on a repair shop like here you can fix it at home it just you know you need a little bit of uh, it's a dexterity thing you just open the screws and or take out the bar like on this case this is a Toshiba satellite L50-C-1XM if you have same laptop but otherwise just try to follow these steps okay thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one yeah bye